in this video we'll be shipping an international order using ShipStation. Uh, the process is different for a domestic order uh, that, uh, than, than a domestic order. In domestic orders you can just print the shipping label from within ShipStation, add it to the tube and then it's done. Just give it to the delivery driver. But um, with international orders at the moment we have to take them down to the post office. Um, actually, you know, putting the posters in a tube and um, taking them down to the post office, you know, that's relatively straightforward. Um, you know, you, you, oh, I send everything by a tract, international tract service, not international tract and signed, just international tract service. And I'll give you uh, the, the payment card to use as well to take the actual package to the post office or packages. But this is what you need to do to get the correct label. So if you go into the order, uh, I'm just going to copy this address and telephone number as well. It won't, unfortunately, it won't just let you print uh, an address label in ShipStation, uh, which yeah is a shame because it would make our lives easier. Um, but uh, so what I do is I just copy the address and then open up Word, paste the address into Word clear any formatting. I increase the text size so that it's like full width like this. Then I turn it into a PDF and in order to do that you go to Acrobat at the top here, create PDF, it will come up with some message saying you need to save the file before continuing so just say yes. Just save it to, I usually save it to my downloads folder and uh, it's trying, it, but first it saves the Word document, save, and then it allows you to save the PDF as well, save, and that's just going to generate a PDF uh, version of the label, so it's all opening on my other screen. So this is the PDF version of the label the address label uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and print that uh, to my label printer okay you can hear that coming out and then for other for international orders there's one more step um, we don't actually uh, need those labels anymore so you can just delete them. The only reason we created that Word doc and then that PDF was just to print out an address label. Uh, unfortunately there is no easy way of doing that in ShipStation. It's not really meant for just printing out address labels, it's meant for printing out shipping labels, complete shipping labels, which is I guess why they don't allow you to do it. Ignore this warning by the way, it doesn't, doesn't mean anything. So uh, the only other thing for an international shipment, so we can leave that there, is uh, there, there's a customs form that needs to go on every uh, tube as well. So if you go, I'll, I'll make sure these are saved in a convenient location for you. Um, but if you look in this folder called CN22 form, that's the name of the um, that's the name of the form, the CN22, uh, and I've got pre-filled forms for whether it's one poster in the tube, two poster in the tube, or three poster in the tube because um, they'll have different commercial values because of it. So uh, this one that I'm about to send out was just one poster, you know, quantity one. Uh, it was a core progression poster. So I'm going to click on the one poster form. Opens up here. And this is all filled out for you. So sender's name, um, uh, address, sale, sale of goods, what's in the what's in it, quantity, weight, value, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so the only thing you need to do is actually date this. So uh, I'm going to print this out. Again, just press Control P and print one of these out too. And then, and then when you when you've printed it out, just make sure you put the date in there in the bottom in the bottom right next to the next to my predefined signature. 
uh, and then both those labels get stuck on the tube. The the shipping, you know, the address label gets stuck on the tube. The customs declaration gets stuck on the tube. If you don't add this onto the tube, they'll ask you to fill one out at the counter. So this is just a way of, um, you know, speeding things up. And um, yeah, and of course, you know, if you if there were two posters in the tube, choose this one. If there are three, choose this one. But most of the time, it's just one poster in a tube, so you just print that one. So on an international order, you're going to have um, an address label and a customs label. And then when you go to the poster, postal office, they're going to weigh it. Um, and then they'll put the actual shipment label, shipment sticker on top as well, once you've paid uh, for the actual you know, postage. Um, then the only other thing to say is that when you go to the uh, post office, you're sending all international orders go international, mm -hmm. uh, uh, international tract. It's the service that they offer. They have international tract, international tract and signed. But I only ever send everything by international tract. Nobody needs a signature these days, uh, and it just costs a pound or two more. So I just send everything by international tract. And then what they do, once you've handed it over to them at the post office, they'll give you a receipt which has a tracking number on it. The last thing you have to do is you have to go and manually dispatch this order because for domestic orders, once you book the shipping label, it, it disappears from this awaiting shipment page and it goes into the shipped column, okay? Um, but because we're not, so it goes into here, but once, once we're, so with international orders, we're not booking the shipping label through ShipStation. We're, book, we're we're paying for it over the counter at the post office. So, in in theory, it would it would it would think that we've never sent it out. Um, but we have to tell it that we've sent it out, and we also have to input the tracking number because that then gets fed back to um, Amazon or my website, uh, and then those tracking details get sent to the customer. So to add the tracking details, you just select the order, go to other actions and uh, ship, uh, sorry, uh, mark as, sh oh, okay, mark as shipped, uh, okay, they've changed this recently, um, I don't know why it's, Oh yeah, there you go. Look, mark is shipped. So, uh, and then it will ask you who the carrier ro carrier was, who you sent it with, you know. And I think it defaults to Royal Mail anyway. But if it didn't, you'd have to choose Royal Mail from this long list of potential um, carriers. P Q R. There we go. Royal Mail. You'd enter the tracking number here. It usually starts like LG one two three four five something like that. You know, make sure you get that correct. Obviously, you're typing it, which isn't ideal. You're looking at a sheet of paper and then typing it into here. It's not ideal. Just make sure it's correct. And then once you have entered in that tracking number, the carrier has been selected. Just leave everything else ticked, and then just hit mark as shipped. And then when you do that, um, this will disappear from the awaiting shipment page. And, um, you know, it will be, you know, the, the customer will be notified that the, um, that their order has been shipped and then they'll get a tracking number and everything else. So it's a longer process, uh, for, um, international orders, not least because you have to take them down to the Royal Mail, um, office, but, um, yeah, uh, we don't get as many international orders they're mostly just domestic orders so hopefully you won't have to do that too much but that's it